Hi guys, welcome back to another Unity Touch tutorial. My name is Devin, and before I get started, I just want to say a big thank you to everybody who's liked, subscribed, commented on my videos. All the positive feedback has been great. Uh, we just passed the 500 subscriber mark, so that's cool. And also, I want to say a huge thank you to everybody who's gone to my website and donated money to support these videos. I greatly appreciate it. You guys are great. Um, on another uh, note, YouTube has been changing the way that they do their commenting system. Uh, some of the comments that you guys have posted are being automatically marked as spam, and I have no way to approve them or unmark them as spam. And it's sad because they're, they're good comments, good questions, and I have no way to, you know, let them appear on my videos. Um, and another thing, some of the comments that have been posted on my videos, when I try to reply to them, uh, like somebody asked me a question the other day, I was I tr I sent a reply. It says, "Oh yes, you can blah 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 blah." But when I hit the the send button to submit the the reply to the comment, uh, it said on the screen, "You do not have permission to reply to this uh, comment." So I'm not sure what the deal with that is, and um, I don't want to make this whole video about those technical issues, but. If you want more information on these problems, you can Google it, and you'll find many other YouTube creators who are having the same uh, difficulties. Uh, yeah, so it's unfortunate, but if something weird is happening with your comments or I'm not responding, just know that that's the case. Alright, so let's get started. Real quick, in Unity, uh, if you notice my Unity screen is a little different than normal, it's because my old monitor broke, and the one that I'm using now... Uh, has a different aspect ratio, so I had to move some things around. Alright, so uh, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be making uh, game objects, these eyeballs all of this smiley face, or this face in particular. We're going to be making these game objects look at a touch on the screen and, um, and follow it. So this is just uh, generally a useful thing. Um, you can use it as another control scheme for your game, so instead of having a joystick to move the player around, you could just have the player run towards your finger. So the uh, the scene right here just has a light and a cube with some cylinders and a camera up there facing downward. No scripts or anything. Um, and also, uh, be sure that whatever game object you want to look at your finger uh, be it your character or whatever, make sure that the front of the character is facing down this blue arrow, the Z axis, uh, because that is the forward vector that Unity uses, um, and we're going to need that to say, hey, face forward towards this finger. Alright, so let's get into the coding. Uh, I created a blank script. It has nothing in it other than uh, start. I just removed the update function and uh, changed around the formatting. Uh, so this script is going to inherit from our touch logic as usual. Uh, if you haven't seen the touch logic videos, uh, you should go ahead and do that before you see this video. Um, and we're going to need a few things. We're going to need uh, some vector threes to, or we're going to need one vector three, uh, vector three to. Damn it to store our finger position and then we're also going to need some transforms uh, and we're going to need the transform of our finger or of our um, of our character so this script is going to go on our character it's going to go on these eyeballs uh, and we're also going to need the transform of the camera as right, some just going to go ahead and drag drag this script onto our eyeballs, so that's there. Um, and at the startup, we're going to we're going to assign this dot transform to my trans variable, and same thing with the camera transform, except we're going to apply the camera dot main dot transform so that's going to take the main camera's transform all right so 
um, we're going to use from touch logic. We're going to use oops. We're going to use two variables or uh, two functions. We're going to use the on touch began anywhere to um, keep track of our touch to watch. And if you recall from our uh, touch logic script, touch to watch is a public variable that we have access to from any script that inherits from touch logic. So touch to watch is going to equal touch logic. Oops. Touch logic dot current touch, uh, which again is another uh, public variable, except it's a public static variable, which means that it never changes. It's always the same um, across all uh, instances of touch logic. Right, so we're going to keep track of that, and then we're also going to want to use on touch moved anywhere. To make our uh, our game object, our eyeball, look at the finger every time the finger moves, uh, and I'm going to separate that out into its own um, function. I'm going to call this look at finger, and we're going to call that function every time the finger moves. And actually. Um, if we're going to make the eyeball actually chase the finger, like move towards it, we're also probably going to want to say on touch stayed anywhere. Uh, just so if we're keeping our finger in one spot, it's still going to call this function. Uh, whereas on touch moved anywhere, we'll only call it when the finger moved. Alright, so in here, uh, we're going to get the finger position, which is going to be a, well, it's actually going to be a vector 2, but we want to convert it to a vector 3, because what we have to do is we have to grab the finger's um, position, which is going to give us an x and y, so a vector 2, and we're going to need to convert that into a world, world space uh, instead of uh, screen space. Um, so, hang on, before I do that, the way that we're going to do that is we're going to say our finger vector is going to equal the um, camera dot main. This is a function of of uh, of the camera. It's screen screen to world point, and that's going to convert our our vector two screen position into a vector three world position, um, and this is going to take in a vector three. Even though our our touch is going to give us a vector two, it needs a vector three. So I'm just going to create a temporary variable here, a temporary vector three. I'll we'll call this temp touch, um, and it's going to equal a new vector three with. Um, Uh, hang on. Input uh, get touch touch to watch dot position oh, wait dot position dot x. So what we're doing here is we're converting our uh, vector our vector to uh, touch position that we get from the screen. It's like if you imagine. We touch on the screen, the screen is two-dimensional. It's got x and y, there is no z depth in here. Uh, so we get the x and y here, and then we got to append um, a z value. And the z value uh, is going to be, and if I go to the, uh, if I go to the Unity scripting reference, uh, you can see that the um, screen to world point function takes in the vector 2 position of the of the uh, screen position, but it also needs a z value. The z position is in world units from the camera. So we're going to need to calculate how far away this eyeball is in y to the camera and feed that into the z value. So it will project, or it'll shoot a line straight down uh, and be on the same exact plane 
as our character, as our eyeball, uh, and it will use that as the world space. Uh, right, so the way that we do that is we're going to find the camera.position. I'm going to bump this down to its own line real quick. Uh, camera position dot y and we're going to subtract that from our characters transform dot position dot y and that will um, you know it'll find the distance from here to here All right so now that we have that we can close that off and just feed this into there all right, so now that we have this, we just need to make our character look at this vector three position. So the way that we do that is we're going to say my transform uh, dot look at, which is just a very nifty function that Unity gives us. Look at the finger. All right, so now if I go back into Unity and hit play. then both of the eyeballs should look at my finger wherever it goes, wherever it moves on the screen. Very cool. Alright, so that's working. Now let's go ahead and make the uh, make the eyeballs move towards our camera, or towards our finger. So the way that we do that is also very simple. We just say my transform dot translate oops, transform dot translate which is another nifty little function that uh, Unity gives us. If you want more information on all the functions that you have access to uh, f with our transform component, you could just go to the Unity reference website uh, and search for transform, and it will show you all these functions and what they do. So we're using look at and translate for our particular purpose. Um, right, so we're just going to say translate forward vector three dot forward um, and multiply that by a time dot delta time and of course we could add in a speed variable if we want some yeah I'll go ahead and add in a speed variable speed and just make a public variable float speed and set it equal to one uh, yeah, let's try that out. So now the eyeballs, actually I'll set one of these to zero so it just looks and the other one will move. So there we go. He looks at and moves towards our finger. So that's it. Um, Hopefully this was helpful. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe if it was. And don't forget you can go to my website, devination.com, to uh, download all of the scripts um, that we've created in these past tutorials. Um, links will be in the description below. And thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.